An emotional evening in Fuquay Arena as people gather to raise awareness about the impact suicide is having on friends, families, and communities throughout North Carolina and the country. Suicide is a leading cause of death in the United States. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis spoke with people who walked tonight in an effort to make a difference, encourage change, and hopefully save lives. Step by step, Sharon Law and her family are hoping to spark change. Just one little trigger can make someone in a split second make that wrong choice. Those steps, Law says, haven't been easy. She says her family has spent four years trying to heal after losing her daughter, Kathy, who committed suicide at the age of 33, shortly after her husband did the same. It was so full of life, so happy-go-lucky. Law says it's the reason the family traveled from Clayton Sunday afternoon to join hundreds of others in Fuquay Verena for the Central Carolina Out of the Darkness Community Walk. In 1996, because of everything that I went through, it led me here to North Carolina. The walk is one of hundreds of walks happening this fall in the U.S. to help raise awareness and money for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Everyone here is here for the same reason, and that is to fight against suicide. April Dupree, who helped organize the event, helped place nearly 1,500 blue flags in Fleming Loop Park that represent the lives lost to suicide last year in North Carolina. Dupree says they've seen rising rates of suicide, particularly among first responders. She says North Carolina needs more resources. I see the hardest part is the what ifs. You know, you want to say, what if I'd have been able to reach him? What if I'd have been able to talk to her? What if I'd have been able to say something that would have changed the, the, the that moment, you know? The Law family says it's a question they and others will never have an answer to, but by coming together through hugs and tears, there's hope. As much as I love to see all everybody together, it's for a very sad reason. And if we could just save one person, that's one person that we, do, we don't have to mourn next year.